Hello and welcome to Exclusive Interviews. This is a ZTN production and I'm your host, Itai Mutiniri. This is a show that brings you closer to public figures, your favorite celebrities, right on this show and today i've got an amazing gorgeous young lady i don't know why she still looks the way she looked years ago she's very talented beautiful she's a mom her name is pauline Good, Paul. Evening. Good evening. How are you? Welcome to exclusive interviews. Thank you. Thanks you look for having amazing. Me. Oh, cool. I think it's, it's all the beauty sleep during lockdown. Girl, you have <laughs> not changed. I mean, Thank I remember you. you from years back and I saw you today and I was just like, okay, she, she, she's not aging at all. <laughs> oh, God's mercy. It's a little bit of working out here and there. Yeah. You know. That's amazing. Now, let's get into it. Before we get into the music part that a lot of people know you for, Let's first get to find out who Pauline is to the audience out there, uh, the Ama 2000s that don't know about ur urban grooves. Who is Pauline? Okay, um, Pauline Gunditza is an artist, an arts consultant, and an activist. Um, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a fashion designer, I'm a writer, wow. like an author. Mm. Um, I also work with other artists like at the moment, I'm working on doing a mentorship program next year wow. where we are going into communities and we want to try and smoothen the path mm. for new artists. Just, you know, looking back on how it was for our generation, things were really different. A lot of structures were not in place. We didn't really have managers. We didn't have record labels. Uh -huh. um, a lot of studios were bedroom or backyard studios. We didn't have a lot of social media for the world to see us. Yeah. Our art was very localized. It was a hobby that if you really did it well, it could possibly turn into a career. Mm -hmm. So we're working on how to get some of this new and undiscovered talent to have a smoother journey. We, we had a lot of ups and downs. Um, fighting piracy I know. and somewhat ungroomed to a certain extent, mm -hmm. kind of learning as we went. Yeah. So we want to, you know, create a platform for art to be developed from its younger stages. And I think I say this also because I'm a mother of two brilliant <laughs> artists, yeah. whom I, oh, I really? fear for them yeah. to go swimming into the same, you know, shark infested ocean that, you were that in. we were in. We yeah. got a lot of abuse as young artists. I'm sure, you know, some of the ladies I've worked with can holler back. Anna Diana, some can get mm. here, right? You know, we were exposed to a lot and I feel like it's now our time to be part of the process of making things better. And that also now goes into my activism. Yeah. Um, I've been a, a women's activist, self-proclaimed and doing <laughs> it, girl, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah. I just I decided that it was time to say something. I've had a lot of experiences in my life that I feel I wouldn't want other people to experience. Mm. Some that I have not had, you know, personally. Mm. But from my perspective, I feel that if one person can change the world, I'm going to try and do what I can for safer communities, especially for women, especially for children. Um, right now we're in the COVID season where you know, so many changes are happening. We're seeing the uprise of drug abuse. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can relate. I've, I've been in my own space that people who know me can, they know my story. Yes. I've, had, I've suffered depression. I, I love the way you're so passionate about that. We are <laughs> going to get into that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's for me. Yeah, that's for I'm doing my music. I yeah. love my Mbira. I'm mm. now fully into Mbira music. I still, I'm, I'm a pop artist. Yeah. So I, I would never limit myself to a genre or yeah. to an instrument. I make music. Let's talk about your music. Yeah. I mean, let's. congratulations on thank your you. song that you released with Rocky. Oh, thank Shine you. Shine like a star. Do it all. Oh, 
nasi umu and in a kurara. That was an amazing, beautiful video. Tell us about that. It was a really wonderful experience. The level that they're working on in terms of their production, mm -hmm. it's really quite admirable. Um, if things are done that way more, I can see our industry growing. Mm -hmm. I like how they're also interacting on a regional to international level. Mm. Um, because Panayima talent here, it's, it's bigger than, it's, than the stage that it's on. Yeah. And when you find someone who's actually willing to cast you out there it's and amazing. let you grow and let you be yeah. and let you do what you love and not necessarily have to worry about certain, you know, the headaches of expenses mm. and, you know, management and stuff like that. Yeah. So my experience with them was really positive. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see what the future holds. This is one of those arrangements that I went into as family and yeah. there was no paperwork. There were no <laughs> contracts. Okay. Um, and I'm still waiting for it to play out the way I wanted to. So far, it has not. Okay. Um, this okay. is calling the activist, Mafira Kureva. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a little... You know. Okay, I'm, I'm sure they're watching and they're going to address that. Yeah, but I'm just saying yeah. it's, 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 a, it's something that I want to see play out positively. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not shedding. I'm not putting shade. Yeah. I want to see it play out positively. And I'm so grateful for the exposure that I got. Okay. Um, I felt myself shining like a star in that shining. moment. It revived <laughs> me. Um, the lockdown was really hectic, yeah. domesticated us. Um, I'm actually now going into agriculture and other oh things because thank God for that. Look, mom, dad, we've got all this space. <laughs> Let's move into you. I've got nothing to do. Yeah. I'm doing agriculture. Yeah. I'm starting to my project. Hey, that's good. Because that's we were good. forced to, you know, to abandon our trade mm. because of the lockdown restrictions. So when that project came for me, I had so much energy that I was just sitting and waiting to be released. <laughs> so I went in full throttle. I mm. enjoyed working with Oskid in the production and the audio. Mm. It was such an Honor I met one of my favorite producers, Ayoliza. Okay. <laughs> He's worked from with us. Yes, it was yeah. so amazing. Mm. Um, I worked with Kenny, the director on the video. It was like a dream. Okay. It was a dream come let's, true. let's get into what you're so passionate about. Yes. Uh, we are in the 16 days of activism yes. against gender based violence. Uh, what would would you say that women in entertainment are more susceptible to? Um, well, from my perspective, mm. I'll give an example of an experience that I had a couple of years ago when I was, I was invited to an event mm. and then the director of this organization decided to compliment on certain of my body parts, mm -hmm. to which I didn't take it quite well. Mm. And then almost to spite me, he then went and caressed my body. Um, wow. It was a situation where do you speak about it? She never said it, even if I talk hey, or if I report listen? or mm. whatever. So we, we started from a from a one on one perspective. I said, you know what? I would just like you to apologize. You really insulted me. Mm. And it was like you're not getting anything out of me. Not an apology. Not nothing. Mm. So we ended up in court. It was a really hectic time. I hate revisiting it. It was so. You know, people think that as artists, because we put ourselves out, out there, there. Yeah. you know, everyone can have access to us. And I'm mm. like, you know, put yourself in my shoes. Like everyone <laughs> owns <laughs> you. They, they feel like they own you. Yeah, you, you're kind of like public property or yeah. something. And that's not at all the case. Mm. So just from that, I, I, I got a lot of women coming forward in the industry. Mm. Some of them from even like a generation like or two. Before, Before. like you know what, but yeah. kinda, so, when we started doing music, mm. we were like nyama, yema, Eish. even for our fellow artists. Mm. Mm. Our fellow artists tiri mo bend, tanga tiri nyama. Mm. And we had to be quiet, otherwise no buddhist kwam band. And there wasn't really that freedom for women to then go and to set up their out. own bands. Or, yeah. Because tanga tiri empowered to that extent, mukaza no yimba. Pambi. Mm. And can you so, say that the safety nets now for the vulnerable women? We're in the getting there, we're getting industry. there, we're getting there. We need more I don't know what the word is. Mm. Um, we need some policies that will look after us more. Yeah. Because people get away with murder on a daily on a daily there's so much verbal violence even when you're on stage and you are dancing or singing to yeah. my comments to actually you just choose to quickly <laughs> you know reset Shut them out yeah because some of them are really offensive 
I get a lot of um, being a divorcee. I was divorced when I say back a woman, back a tyrant. So you know, people will kind of treat you like you are less of a woman, or even if you are attractive, they'll say, "Could you know you are mm, attractive?" But, but it doesn't change the fact that someone rejected you. Yeah. So in as much as you are being confident, remember that you've been rejected yeah. or whatever. And these are the labels yeah. that are stuck on us and the masks, mm. you know, that they expect us to wear. But I get over things really quickly. Yeah. And it's also been that motivation to be an activist because I'm like, you know what? Maybe my mindset I I know could change and then we can all actually live in peace and harmony. And um I'm trying to think of this saying like move. Can I until Jai Twaka na kune hanjazi yako when maybe your sister is divorced and, and publicly insulted yeah. and robbed of her dignity. Yeah. Dova nyo nati mukwasha rukupi no mutema unona manu ema kunobata matemo. But they walk around rubbishing other people mm. because of such a so a personal experience eh. for them. Mm. So I mm. I feel like more information should go out. I feel that as artists we have the gift to express things. You know, like some of these serious issues are not GBV, whatever. Yeah. Some people are like, oh no, GBV, oh, again. 16 days of yeah, this. Not, not again. again, I know. And <laughs> this is why I'm like, let's make movies, you know, yeah, nice movies. I know my kids are with good looking men and good looking women and good soundtracks and like good artists. Throughout the year, not competitive, just now. yeah, like yeah. Netflix kind mm. of level. But let's, let's, let's plant our messages in there yeah. so that we influence our society. Yeah through the arts and you know just letting people see how ugly it really is and now that we have things like social media yeah. you know what i mean yeah. or now people will turn it into a little sticker or a gif on yeah. social media but these are lives mm. um i have a friend who passed away long long back she she was dating a guy they were living outside the country this guy was violent her title was ziva mm. could sometimes be like nah, what happened ah, yeah, well, one day i can't die, i can't die. he eventually murdered her and so. that has stuck. She was a friend to my freak. So, you know, all of us are stuck with that. And whenever people see us, Tichita activism, I mean, of course, it's part of our livelihood <laughs> yeah. to work, to, to use our gift for livelihood. Mm. But people don't understand how attached mm. we are to these scenarios and how we genuinely just want to see things change. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the media reports, about mm -hmm. you having been in in an abusive marriage and having to go through a depress uh, depression and having to resort to the bottle. Uh, tell us about that experience and how you overcame it. Um, wow, I think it's a story we've all heard <laughs> over and over. Over and over. I'll, I'll, I'll pull short. out the juicy yeah. bits. I'll pull out the juicy mm -hmm. bits. Um, you know, life is a journey. At some point, I actually sat down with Baba Sky and I was like, you know what, my guy? All these years, it's always been depicted by the media that you're a monster. And, uh, you know, I feel like the age where we got married, we were both monsters to each other. Okay. Um, there were certain things about being a woman that I did not know or mm. practice. There were certain things about being a man, or rather a wife and a husband. Mm. We were kids. You were kids. We I were know kids. That. And, you know, we had so much attention and so much pressure on us mm. that I, I can see how an egg would crack. You know, one mm. little splint will turn into, you know, branches and branches of cracks. And we, I got to a point where I was like, you know what, my guy, I'm so at peace. Mm. I'm so at peace. And now working in child marriage, I'm in the process now of registering an organization where we are trying to prevent my child marriages. Mm. Uh, because I saw, could, mm, we had so many odds against us. And it contributed to that massacre that public massacre mm. of a marriage that people saw and um you know i'm, I'm past it and i i believe that he's past it too we're really mm. good friends now i don't think we, we could have worked together yeah you guys Even on shine well like together star, you could have <laughs> put us in the same room without some you know that air that negative energy yeah. between us. but this but project exactly was actually like such healing overcome it i mean speaking from i had a you, i had a yeah. really good support system um I've got really good friends. Terry Rai Mugwadi is one. Utle Sharon Lobo is one. Mm. Um, they stood by me through a lot. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my eyes are actually getting a bit watery. They stood Aww. by me. And um, 
Yeah, you're never judged or whatever. Whatever this day would bring Tango Dilana. Mm. I also had a lot of support from organizations like Musasa. Musasa mm. is like a lifesaver for me. Yeah. Um, and I just is, you know, like, we, we've, we've worked with Anna women lawyers who yeah. would always just give you the scenario mm. where you needed counseling. It was there for free. Wow. You know what I mean? If you needed legal assistance, it was there for free. Um, and then they'd also give me a platform to rediscover myself. I was always performing for my events. I, mm. I still do, you know. And they were helping me to rebuild my confidence because that's the one thing that was really affected. Yeah. And I, I was bitter with the media. <laughs> People will be very surprised. I can imagine But I'm that. actually going into media very soon. Which I'm <laughs> not. Can you, can you do? I'm actually going to be presenting certain programs yeah. and being on that at the end of the desk mm. from a point where the media was like, feeding off me you know like some stupid headlines yeah but just could you remember and we can then her. sell today's yeah, story sell it. Yeah. from yesterday's pain yeah i went through a lot of that but look i mean life You're goes over on. it now and you know god being my pillar god being my pillar i would ask myself what in naimi um, was I created to be ridiculed mm. or, you know, like, so what's there for me now? Yeah. And God would always just show me these little glimmers of a brilliant, bright future. And then I would have people who'd come and say, you know what, Pauline, we like, we heard you that night on radio and, which you and yeah. you said something that changed my, my life. life. I had the courage to get out of an abusive relationship because of what you said. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, well, Bangwe, you know, if, let it be according yeah. to his will. If it's not done to me, then to who? Yeah. And how then are we going to change the narrative from a negative to a positive, except to then keep on advocating, guys, Mm. Lives are being affected yeah. and let's love one another. Let's try and resolve our issues amicably. Kanatatada, go to people who can help you. Victim friendly at your nearest police station. Those from my cabin to my office, they are put aside from the, the whole main police station for a reason. Yeah. For your privacy. Yeah. They'll actually give you time to express yourself mm. before you know things get so bad. Because of people failing to resolve issues. Yeah. Now looking back at your life, if you had the opportunity to advise your younger self what what would you say to your younger self stay focused mm. stick to the plan okay yeah um i have to say music was a bit of a distraction from it's hard because it became my <laughs> so i hope this you know <laughs> it's it's a two-edged knife mm. um i i wanted to be a, a human rights lawyer okay that was my goal and on that journey certain things would never have found me. I was going to do things by the book mm. until I get to graduation. I had it all figured out. Then I was going to work, 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 and then open my organization, build a children's home, a sanctuary, or what, mm. what, what. It was all like, you know, like brickwork, just continuously flowing. Yeah. And then music, because music is such a free state, mm. I let go of a lot of things that I, I should have maybe kept closer. Mm -hmm. Discipline is one thing. I remember that is a good score in the end Friday, my school bag would be suspiciously oh, overpacked. Yeah. I'd have my clothes for <laughs> for the show. Uh, what I was going to wear on the bus. Yeah. They see me I would maybe land in Harare, sleep in a hotel because they take a marikang, mm. wake up, put on my uniform, and go to school. Those of our own Monday, mm. and because they, you know, they were just like, okay, she, it's a phase, it's a phase, yeah. or whatever. She's going to outgrow it, but I was like, this is going to be my life, type of thing. Wow. But we didn't know it then. But I do feel um, I could have done things a bit differently. Mm. Um, that lack of discipline ended me in certain situations like it you know i wasn't a teenager i was 19 when i got pregnant but yeah. if i had kept to the plan i was only supposed to have a child <laughs> around 24 <laughs> Danny, Marie, and when certain <laughs> things stable. were in place now yeah. mature, yeah, mature. Not stable, mm. i did not stick to my own plan yeah. so i would probably just instill a lot more discipline 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot more. But would you would you still do it? I mean, there's I would still do music. Yeah. yeah, definitely. But like I'm saying, no, being a lawyer, a lawyer. Yeah. Well, I think the whole point of wanting to be a lawyer was to then go and fight the rights of oh, you know do the advocacy work word. for the media, and I'm and still, still doing, doing that. It. So God just made yeah. it work out for the good. It, it's still working. And out I for still you. feel I'm gonna go to school. I'm, yeah. I'm still working on a bit of stability. That's the thing with the music industry. It's very hard to establish stability. Yeah. Now talking about waves, waves. all these experiences that mm -hmm. you had Unevana, yeah. how did you manage to shield them from the public scrutiny <laughs> the public bashing and how did you handle that how did you do it um, I'm not sure if I did it. I yeah. went through a phase where I don't really remember what was going on I was so depressed Aww. I was drunk a lot of the time. Oh God, my eyes are tearing again. Um, I was drunk a lot of the time. Yeah. My mom, my sisters, they, they pretty much held the fort down. I was present. I wasn't absent. Yeah. But I had very little peace. So I would separate myself from reality. Don't, you know what I mean? Don't be sticker in one way or the other. Mm. But it was always there when I came back. Mm. And this was the journey towards rehabilitation, and it's been hard. Mm. Um, but yeah, the children have somewhat hardened, I've noticed. They are a jairirwe. No, not my kids. Not your kids. I'm actually trying to. I wanted to, I wanted to sign up for Kung Fu, and I was like, no, not this. <laughs> not this. No, 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 pay. no pay. They are very strong children. Nice. I think it's like when you put an egg in hot water, it yeah, hardens. It hardens. They, they've got such resilience, and they understand us so well. Nice. As people, mm -hmm. myself, people around me, you know, their dad, their aunties, uncles. Mm. We've just gotten to a point where this is our life. As it is, you can't okay, wake up and be someone else. Mm. So deal with it. Yeah. Be polite, smile. People are going to say, oh, smile through it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let people make you, you know, mm. don't make man vano zita kunge vana the banisha makataza or they've contributed to certain things. I'm like, you know what? Mm. They are innocent. Mm. Don't mess with these kids. Because once you ask anybody, do you want to see my fangs? <laughs> mess with my kids. <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about Patsime, an organization that uh, a trust um that's is involved in activism against gender-based violence that you're involved with. Um, what is your relationship with them? What are you working on with them? Um, Patsima is just really one of many organizations that I'm working with. Mm. The last project we did together that is like social, mm. we did a, a theme song for 16 days. It was 2019, if I'm not mistaken, where the theme was on sexual harassment in the workplace. Mm. So we did that song, and then that song was then also supported by Musasa Project. And I remember going around performing it at different provincial levels and national levels. Patsime works to to deliver messaging through the arts. There are some messages that are just so hard hitting. Um, I was just having a conversation with an associate from Oxfam where we were saying but this year, like there's that whole corporate world and the NGO society where a lot of funding and whatever is put in, but somehow my message is mm. we need to, to package and present these messages in a friend, in a amicable, accept, palatable way. I think that's mm. the best word. And this is where organizations like Fatsime will come through, where you can have theater, films, music which is just it's entertaining yeah. it's refreshing it's fun but mm. we are constantly putting to my subliminals or just putting it out there mm. but making it even an interactive experience because so much funding is put in mm. why not even you know, rechannel some of our resources or our focus mm. to grassroots. 
vana kuma kresho kukune era kambuka dziro kana kana nesa rime kuti mama kana mane sana na te saro vane kuto tanga kuma kresho to actually spend yeah um, I've, I've been doing people like a lot of people will say oh, yimba, oh, yimba. i think my focus has really gone yeah. into activism where most of my songs are tongo by advocacy okay it now inspires me to that extent where mm. in every song that i do punish and rukuda kudzidzi sa whatever and i've seen mm. how it works okay it works like wonders yes <laughs> as opposed to trying to lecture people mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. tanga kufira, like you're attacking them mm. or you're you know putting them in a corner mm. entertainment yeah. is, is such a powerful tool for social change yeah yeah and what is your message to that person that is watching this they're going through the most right now and they don't know how to get out of the situation what can you say to them uh, first thing, breathe in, mm. breathe out, yeah. calm down, it's going to be okay. Um, second thing, you are your own bridge. You, you are the first step towards things changing. If you, if you don't make a decision, you don't make a change, don't expect things to naturally shift. They might and yeah. they might not. What can you do in your situation could you know, you take better? Mm. You know, because we get a bit dependent sometimes when someone's going to come and save me on a white yeah. horse. We're going to ride off into the sunset. You know, you have to say, Papa, it's enough. I can't do this anymore. I can't. Um, and then make a decision. There's so much information out there. Instead of, me, okay, my comedy about social media, I don't like that, but let's also use the internet to apply it directly to our lives and how we can help each other. There are so many organizations, just Google even could see how to get assistance, whatever. Or some of these things are self-help help tips. I'll give you some. I went through self-rehabilitation. I've never been for rehab. Okay. Um, it's self-rehabilitation and the love that I get from people who are supportive of me. But mm. it was like, number one, know your triggers. Know your weaknesses mm. to a point where I even had to cut off from my friends yeah. so that I could cut off in my lifestyle. We were so dependent on the bottle and going out yeah. to try and teach you no know, one that mm. they do. Teach you father, teach you get father, and then we go home and things are worse. Yeah. So I had to cut it off and face things. Could I swear any problem? I am going to find one solution than to run away. Yeah. Some of these things you can help yourself, but there's a point where you can't. Mm. Look around, look around you for assistance. There's, you know, things that come before the Lord. Sometimes take mm. someone aside and say, could you please help me? I've prayed about it. Mm. But now I need active. Mm. Mm. What do I do? And yeah. if you cannot stand up on your own, try to find people who are supportive around you who can help you. Mm. Yeah, but it all starts with you. That's why I said first breathe in, breathe out because... Yeah. You're preparing yourself for maybe making the biggest decisions and the most painful and most difficult decisions you're going to have to make, but it's for your own good. Yeah. Because you, you, it's your life. You only live once. And yeah. if you allow it to just go down the drain, mm. I would hate one day to be on my deathbed or whatever and just be like, yeah. I could have True. then still gone on to university mm. and gotten my law, my law degree. I could have still <laughs> opened my organization, Victorious, but I decided to stay in a situation that killed me, that's yeah. put me here. Mm. I'm happy to say, could every day, even if I don't achieve anything that's tangible, mm. I'm moving forward. You are. I'm moving forward and... I hope someone who's watching me taking my little tiny steps is getting inspired and they're going to get up too. Yes. And we're going to have a forward thinking and a forward moving mm. you know, society yeah. eventually. And when we talk of gender-based violence, um, there is the issue of men mm -hmm. that also are victims of GBV. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? They, do you feel like they are not, you know, they, it's not being voiced enough that men also go through the same <laughs> yeah. Does your advocacy involve um, the other gender? It certainly does. Mm. I think it goes down to human rights. Um, I think our good Lord Jesus once said, do unto others as you would like done to yourself. Mm. And he said the greatest law is the law of love. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. So... It's a situation you could have been in, but you could have been in the back of your mind. Yeah. Yes. I don't know about the physical side. I said, go. Mm. go to the police stations. It's only because maybe the issue of pride. 
Mm. If a man is really going to pursue this mm. matter, mm. he's depicting himself as if as you he's, he's weak. Yeah. But Jiriko, I've, I can testify that I've seen it for my, with my own eyes. Mm. And then this pride element, Yakuti, are you a man if you're getting beaten down or beaten up or <laughs> beaten sideways? <laughs> Um, Jiriko, yeah. and I feel like men should take up a voice. Mm. Yeah. But I really respect, you know, Kuna Maru, Marriage Marriage is so wonderful. Um, I have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> you walk away. Yeah. Walk away. Mm. Um, at some point, maybe when I'm back to my senses, we'll be like, right. Let's talk. Yeah. Um, no munu, they are really overcome by anger right now, and anything that I try to do in retaliation is going to blow up to a point where maybe I'm gonna have to slam her down. Yeah. Because she's coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, uh, the bigger man will just be like, ah, mm. I'm going to Ningu's house for a second. I'm gonna go pick up my bed. Don't put it. Uh, yeah. Because sometimes you have to be also, and this is something that I've learned when we've gone into my communities. Yeah. Where I remember I thought, because Vakazi Vaku misses an anesu, and then if I retaliate, she will go and report me. But and she, sometimes women say things that are even worse than Kuruamu Numbama. Mangama Shoko Kutu not Zikisira Munu Pasi, and a man is nothing without his pride. Mm. And they try, but so few men come forward. Mm. But part of the community, I remember, I attended a cultural show. We went to some of these really remote places, mm. and they were like, "I think we could never remember my women's rights." But can't they do much more? Man, we have a tight family. You know, yeah. and this is the head of the house. The minute I try to instill my 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 manhood and my authority, I have no demand. It's abuse. Yeah. Since when? Mm. So it also means, ladies, let's check ourselves because it takes two to tango. Yeah, even we could have a good respect. We could have respect our women. Mm. The way we talk to men sometimes it's very provocative. There are people of action. Mm. And we look at the source of you know the cloud that bears no water. We see could you know this man has actually been suffering, but some room he just yeah. so let's look at you know where it's coming from. Like I was saying, the greatest law is the law of love. Mm. And don't expect that person to just <laughs> tolerate your poo because mm. and the laws around us seem to be these days very much protective of women. Yeah. Does that give us then the right to become abusers mm. in another right? I went to perform at a university and these young boys were like, you to name your financial abuse. Yeah, okay. she can see these young women. They can go, I love you. Could this one's go, I love you too. Then that chain gets a squad, Zinza, Mama, my pizza, and Zwara. Just because I love you, mm. it's financial abuse. Because I know, if I don't do it, she's going to find a blesser. Murkuta abuse, some of us to demand a rich quarrel in Andy Shandy, but my girlfriend, who's also a student like me, expects so much from yeah. me. It's abuse. Mm. But because I love her, I have to do it. And I was like, this is so profound. Because mm. yes, it was really, this financial, emotional abuse. Yeah. Because we can meet it, I show you, can I kiss? Are we want to kiss? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can see could but we are talking about aspects, but I I would then like to say they need to also accommodate Shirukitika on mm. the real. For generations and centuries, women were going through so much. And I think it was only maybe around time I came to Beijing. Yeah, 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 when the girls were like, I know we're going to Beijing now <laughs> to claim our space. But it was some historic movement yeah, yeah. where women were now actually being given some sort of human recognition. Mm. From the time where we were not allowed to work, we we're not allowed to do this. Mm. So they need to understand good if they're seeing all this vocalness around women, mm. it's our time. Mm. And I may even do so they get up and they tell us some of what they've gone through. Nobody says good day. But they are still manababa. Isu sister kata aibo. 
<laughs> not that we are going to leave our husbands or whatever, but yeah. we are we are pleased appealing for respect. We are pleased appealing for fairness, mm. for protection from the people that are supposed to love us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, we are that generation that has to do it for Varukuso Tera, Anaskei, Nanami Nana. So that by the time she gets into a marriage, remember no 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 why is we have to do our part for that generation because it's also where takasir wore the button by those ladies who went kunana beijing they did what they did but she's open a certain level now it's our purpose to take it to the next level so sorry guys sometimes mm. we go on and on about, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah feminism but in Gubayach, in Gubayach. and there's also an opportunity for men to actually speak out i don't know how you guys are gonna do it you know what i mean <laughs> guys let's have our safe space or our safe yeah. zone whatever let's have a place where we get solutions address, yeah. where we get Council from Anna Sekuru to Matumadaj, Vanukuzota, in any day, never cut the five for my net. I think there's a person that I die. They can give us so much wisdom. Yakuti Susu wisdom, maybe it's from the young and the restless, it's from, you know, how real housewives of <laughs> Beverly Hills. How to see that guidance. Because our societies were so much more stable, good. Mm, yeah. Because oh, colonialism, human rights, and mm. our our you know the the structure of things has shifted, mm -hmm. but it's still there. It's still there. It's still there, yeah. and we're just not having the right conversations. Guys, team up and say good guys. Who Twitter say let's call ourselves the walk away guys. Yes. You know we are the guys who walk away when that woman starts. I walk away. Yeah. You know what I mean. I hope that if that <laughs> really then happens, it was so great having you, Pauline. <laughs> I, 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 love, I, I love the way you're so <laughs> passionate about gender-based violence the whole advocacy it was amazing to have you thank in the you studio. we didn't really get to talk as much about the music side and just in a still this moment to say i've got so much stuff coming out yeah um a good friend of mine was just telling me i was under pressure oh my god i haven't really released anything of my own this yeah. year she was like pauline you know, don't get too much small steps talk with them. I think to cook one. Yeah. Why don't you just we can use that energy for 2022? So guys, yeah. 2022 is bomba. Finish your weed. Yeah, yeah. powder meets the flame. Yeah. Um, I've I've got so many projects. A lot of them are still a bit gender based. Yeah. But still, you're gonna love them. Oh, well, um, we'll have you in again. We'll yeah, have definitely. You in for an exclusive. Once definitely. you've got your things in order, just let thank us you know. Thank you very and much, we'll and thank you to in. everybody who has just kept me going. Yeah. Thank you for the support and the love to my best friends. I love you. No. To my hubby, I love you. To mm. my babies, my mom, my dad. Get to so. And that's all we had for you on exclusive interviews. Remember, as we commemorate the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, we say, find an alternative thing, you know, find an alternative safe space, find people to talk to, and just remember to stay safe always. I'm Itai Mutiniri, and for more of our programming, do go to our social media pages. On Facebook, we are Zim Papers Television Network, and on Instagram at ZTN News. Pauline is going to close the show and serenade us with her beautiful voice, and of course, the Mbira. Okay, this is a song that I've written um, to commemorate one of my she heroes, my superwoman. Her name is Mbuya Nehanda. Uh. Um, yeah, here goes. <laughs> Just a girl in the world, and you had to be strong. A warrior, a woman, to be queen in the home, and a queen on the throne. For this you were chosen. Vasina mavi, doku ya nengarava, kuzo paraza fuma, fuma yedo vatema. Tipa 
Tonagedi, 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 One love. <laughs> Thank you. That's it from us. <laughs>